Last night, we looked at the dots that finally connected to give credence to the hypothesized mechanisms by which severe geomagnetic storms can affect the psyche, the statistical correlations, and the hypothesized solar storm effect that would be in play, in this case ELF waves, were undisputed. But now we know indeed those same effects have been tested on psychological parameters, and from pure biology, we learn why the known effects of space weather can play in our brains. This would be like taking a large CME impact, geomagnetic storm, and the reverberations of the dipole and L-shell magnetic field structure to which every breathing entity is subject at ground level in terms of the low-frequency waves produced. But we mentioned last night that there was another side to this story, one of cosmic rays. For those new to the subject, the correlations and mechanisms are well understood here already. Cosmic rays can penetrate to the core of Earth, they can damage DNA, and they create a cascade of electrons, positrons, neutrons, muons, and more when they strike the atmosphere tens of millions of times a day. Here, we mostly hear concern about DNA damage, but in cosmic rays, we have also seen links to satellite and technological issues. This is due to their ability to engage with and overload any electrical system. Our nervous and cardiac systems both fit that category, by the way, and the brain itself is a system based almost entirely on a delicate electrical balance. And unlike the ELF waves, which I have no doubt indeed couple and influence the processes as shown in last night's study, there is not even a question of how these particles from cosmic rays can have their effects much more easily than wave energy. This is well established. That sun ELF brain trouble connection from last night was new. So both sides of space weather scale in mind, I want to quickly play a portion from our What to Do About Space Weather Health Information video. Both it and last night's video are linked for you below. It is critical you always remember what you are about to hear because it has to be applied constantly to new information. But here is where it really gets cool. Fight back mentally. These things that are potentially coming in from space and having the ability to affect our bodies, they're electromagnetic. You've got an electromagnetic machine up here that is producing brain waves. You have a countervailing force. And it's not as though this countervailing force is totally insignificant. Sure, by any stretch of the imagination, whether you're looking at the size of your brain compared to the sun or the electrical output or the magnetic fields or the range uh, and spectrum of the waves produced, we're not talking about the same kind of stuff. We're talking about a tiny little brain. But at the same time, that tiny little brain is more powerful than the laws of physics and chemistry. That's called the placebo effect. There are these rules called biology and chemistry and physics, and they are supposed to govern what is happening inside your body. You don't have to change those biological, the chemical, and the physical parameters inside your body, although that is one way to change the outcome of things that are going on. Another way is to just think something differently. That's the placebo effect. It is very real, I assure you. Many hundreds of millions of dollars of, have been dumped into drugs only to be dashed at the last minute by the placebo effect, not being able to outperform somebody thinking that they should get better, not being able to outperform somebody's brain telling their system. It's the placebo effect. It's this mundane thing that you all know about and shrug off, but it means you can overrule the powers of physics and chemistry within the system you control. And that is an absolutely appropriate definition. And don't let anyone tell you, you don't have that power. Every time something happens on the sun that could affect human health, I tell myself, all right, you know what's coming. You know what to do with that energy. You even know the spectrum it's coming in on. Don't let it do anything bad. Use it. There's a video I did back in 2011 called I Am Harp. And if you know what harp is, um, or I suppose if you don't know what harp is, it is uh, an ionosphere heater. It... Um, basically uses electromagnetism to manipulate plasma way above our heads. And the idea is that you have, you have a harp inside of your brain. You have an electromagnetic frequency generator that overpowers physics and chemistry every single day. And there is absolutely no reason why it couldn't help you in these situations as well. And what's important about that is it can hurt you too. I've seen people negative placebo themselves to bits. 
somebody gets interested and says, hey, I, I, I had this event during this, and it was, you know, it, it really threw me for a loop because I've never had this negative health outcome before. And was there anything going on on the sun on that day? And I come back and I say, well, you know, this was going on and this was going on. And lo and behold, every time something like that happens from then on, they email me and tell me about how bad they feel. It does work both ways. If you think something is going to negatively affect you, it can. If you think positively, I'm not saying you can manifest everything you want in the world, but you can manifest more positivity and happiness in yourself and certainly in others. Moods rub off on people. Some people are magnetic. There's a reason why we describe things in this way, and there's a reason why... <laughs> there's a reason why our brains hold the importance to us that they do. Um, the ability to simply think something and without any other physical action of manifestation, you manifest reality. That is something that nobody should, should take lightly in terms of the space weather health information. Even if you're the highest risk patient, when you see that alert come through the disaster prediction app, chin up. Tell your body you know what to do with it. Know what's coming and it's going to hit you good. Like uh, it's, a, it's a 99 degree and 99 humidity day and here comes a breeze. Just take it all in. Whether it is space weather, the 60 hertz electrical grid, or 5G, nothing controls your body but you, provided you know what you're doing. You can be afraid and make it worse, be ignorant and roll the dice, or know the facts and choose a pathway other than fear. More on all of this and more at Observing the Frontier 2019. Know your power and how to use it. Be safe, everyone.